Jeff Ferrozo on the Hot Homestead. This is a series of videos, a series of videos on mice and rats on homestead. I do want to give you kind of a fair warning that on this, I'm trapping and catching mice and rats. Most all of them will be dead. And some of the death, well, it's just not a pretty sight for, for a few folks. So I do want to give you kind of a fair warning that there is death on this video and that and that this video or these series of videos are all about mice on the homestead, rats on the homestead, and me setting up traps and catching and killing these mice. Well, I don't kill them, the trap kills them. AZ Hot Homestead, my name is Jeff, and welcome to another video, this series of videos on mice on the homestead. Here I have four, didn't quite make it peanut butter, and dried cranberries. I was gone for a week. I had 12 traps set, and I got four. And each one of them each one of them pretty much just got it right in the skull. Little guys just didn't make it. Catch a mice on the homestead. Practically, well, let's see, I was gone for a week and I got four. That's one every other day. Now, for those of you who like some graphic stuff, look at that. That's what his front teeth look like. He was trying to go in on the side. Didn't seem to help him much, did it? This one pretty much got nailed in the eye socket. Look at that. Now one interesting thing is, you notice this is a mouse guard, and that one's the old Victoria, Victor, Victoria, <laughs> Victor. I like these traps better. The reason why I like these traps better is because the way that the bait sets in, and I'll show you that here in a second. But these were at the dollar store. And those were at Home Depot, Walmart. And you know, the price for a back package of four, is the same cost. It's like a buck, two bucks for a package of four of them. So, but yeah, let me show you exactly why I like these better than those. So I like the Victor mousetraps better for this reason. See how on a piece that you put your bait on, you know, Nice curl piece right there, a little hole there, and when it sets, it comes up pretty high up in the air, kind of say, hey, come and look at me, like this. So, fairly high up in the air, when the trap itself is set, and then the piece, that bar right there in the center, that barely sits on that guy there see how short he is he ends I'm gonna pinch myself watch this <laughs> these are also more sensitive it ends like right there okay now on the other one the piece that the bait sits in here just has a little bit back here that it could grip onto so like for an example when I put that cranberry on the dried cranberry it doesn't stick on here as well as it sticks on the Victor brand. This is the, the Dollar General brand or the one I bought at the Dollar General store. And then, then when this trap is set, the bait piece doesn't stick up in the air as high. And that middle bar there that sets it, 
is a little bit longer it goes right about there instead of right there and this trap when they go to set the trap sometimes they'll bump it and they'll set the trap and then they'll still debate and it seems to happen more with this brand the mouse guard than with the Victor brand so there the cost is the same but I think I would go with the Victor brand more but obviously pick them up wherever you are they'll still do the job just I think the Victor brand is is a better trap itself and the bait holds on better and it's pretty sensitive and it seems that the bait can be more easily stolen from this one than from that one does that make sense so oh and one other see the guy sitting right there he was found inside that bucket now what's really cool about this is the peanut butter and cranberry that's on that can that's like three weeks old that bucket hadn't caught a thing but I caught one so you don't always have to have fresh stuff for a mouse to go after some of these traps will sit for a full couple weeks before they finally get one so you don't always have to replace your bait you can go with as long as it's still a clean trap and and it looks like that they might go after it just let it be but yeah that guy was found underneath or sitting in the bottom of the bucket with some water so I dumped him out and yeah he didn't make it so I had five mice in the last week rock on Jeff EZ High Homestead and I'm just catching mice on the homestead it's an every other day event don't forget to like subscribe share comment and for those of you who just can't stand the whole death and, and the gory stuff I get it hopefully you didn't watch it but if you did I appreciate it talk to you later so if you want to see more trapping of the mice and rats on the homestead turn to the playlist or just stay tuned because periodically I will be posting videos as I trap the mice and the rats on my homestead do like comment subscribe and share and just know life on the homestead one well, of those darn rodents on the homestead and this is only a series of videos of me catching mice and rats on the homestead <laughs>